hey y'all come in come in welcome back to my channel and today's video is gonna be as you can tell by the title obviously it's gonna be my wash day routine right now my hair is already currently washed i'm doing the intro after i recorded the video i'm gonna start off by saying don't forget to like subscribe and comment i know you gotta wait to see if you actually like watch the video to see if you like it but that don't mean you gotta wait to subscribe like help us sister out like come on <laughs> but anyways i hope that you guys enjoy this it's not a tutorial it's just i have several dermatitis which is a form of psoriasis on my scalp and sometimes you know around my nose and between my eyebrows and on my eyebrows <laughs> but um pretty much it's just how i wash my hair you know how i do my hair routine and i ended up taking you know videos and photos of how it look when it's filthy but i just wanted to you know show you guys that I'm not saying follow what I do, but as you can, you'll see later on in the video, this, this, this whole thing I just showed you right now shows how clean my scalp is. Obviously, I haven't washed it in two weeks, and if you have several dermatitis, you know you have to wash it every week, pretty much. So yeah, um, this intro is already long enough that I hope you guys enjoy. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in a second. for the <clears throat> bad lighting you know it's a bathroom and for the noise it's, it's a downstairs bathroom and it has like you know a little ventilation just like pretty much just like in my last video so i wanted to start off by doing you know a wash day routine for people who have like me who have 4c hair 4c natural hair and have a form of psoriasis so today i'll be using the pretty sure you can see it the head and shoulders shampoo slash conditioner and it has almond oil in it as you can tell by the almonds <laughs> i don't really condition my hair like that honestly because since i shampooed about two or three times that i just get lazy by the time it's you know time to condition it condition it but that should give me more of a reason to condition it because i'm shampooing my hair about two or three times when i do wash it weekly in that one you know day so this is a shampoo conditioner that i have the Giovanni for damaged hair. I don't know. I, it doesn't seem like it does anything for me, but it seems like any other conditioner. But I, you know, heard Naturalistas rave about it, so I was just like, let me go try it out. And for that price, let's just say I'm gonna try it out again. And because the head and shoulders don't, doesn't really have a scent, when I do shampoo my hair two to three times, the last time I tend to use the VO5 because. I just want my hair to smell like something when I'm done, you know. <laughs> the conditioner doesn't have a scent, the other shampoo, you know, may have a scent, but it might be chemical -y. So I tend to use this one to get that strawberry scent. So yeah. Oh, and I'm using my spray bottle, so I won't have to like break my neck and keep wetting my scalp in the sink. You know, spray bottle, which actually this has oil in it, but I'm not wasting it, so I'm just gonna use it. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so I thought it would be smart of me to add this disclaimer. I honestly, I personally did not wash my hair for two weeks. I know that may seem this, well for, for you know, other natural leases, that may not seem like a big problem, you know, two weeks maybe a max. But honestly for me, and for people who have seborrheic dermatitis, they know that the max should be about like <laughs> a couple days, aka you have to wash your hair at least once, twice a week. So. I've been busy studying for midterms, aka midterms are next week. I should be studying now, but I really needed to wash my hair as you can tell by me itching it. So, what you gotta see, it's very disgusting, but bear with me, because this hasn't been washed in two weeks. It looks absolutely disgusting, but at the same time, if you have psoriasis on your scalp, then you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, yeah. And as you can tell by the how my hair looks, I never washed it since I straightened my hair, which was only about two weeks ago. So yeah, I just twisted it up. I just braided it up like this. Ooh, that's what I hurts. I just braided up this way and put some bobby pins in it just to wear my wig slash scars for the past couple days. As you can see, 
I'm spraying it so that I can loosen like all the rough scabs I have on my scalp. Y'all know how scabs on your scalp is. I don't want to go in scratching because then it'll just lead to me being to me bleeding. I don't feel like bleeding today because that pain lasts a couple days. <laughs> fingertips it doesn't do anything my scab like maybe if I wash it every week but since I haven't washed it for two weeks it's like solidified like it's you know it, it's solid like I have to I have to scratch it but I make sure I don't scratch it enough where I feel pain you know what I'm saying like I just scratch it enough where I get the top layer off and once I get to my actual scalp then I use my fingertips As you can, I don't know if you can see it. Well, obviously I'll show you when I'm done, but that's straight scalp. <laughs> so doing it, doing it in sections and smaller portions work. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was gonna get heat damage in that last video. <laughs> do it one more time and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera so y'all can see, you know, the process again I guess you could say but I'm gonna do the rest off camera because um battery and memory <laughs> as you can see it's dirty can you see <laughs> it's dirty but it's not as dirty as that little that one spot it's obviously spot some certain spots will be dirtier than the others but I literally took this out the laundry. Like, my good laundry, like, freshly washed laundry. So that's about it. And I will see you all in my next section, I guess, where I... I'll show you how I condition my hair. Either that or, y'all yeah, know how to condition hair already, but you know. It's a wash day routine for, I mean, wash day video for a reason. So I'm gonna just braid this up and continue to do that same process that I did on these two all over my head. Which shows only about a couple more braids left. A good five. <laughs> See you all shortly. Bye. <laughs>
and then one more time with the VO5 when I felt like I didn't do that well of a job, but I felt my scalp and it wasn't, you know, just my edges other than that, but my scalp, it was fine. It wasn't bumpy. I didn't feel any extra scabs or ridges. So that's why I only shampooed it two times today. And if you could look at the time, I read, because I had to keep stopping and, you know, recording the video and going slow for this process, I would have been finished within an hour 30. But today, today it only took me two hours and that is pretty great for me because I don't make it a whole wash. Obviously, I'm not doing my hair now. But since this is a wash day routine, I figured just to do the washing part because I can't guarantee you that I'm about to like style my hair. I'm not going to style it. I'm gonna just take the fat braids out, make it smaller, spray water, oil on it, put some shea, moist, shea butter, and that's it. Walk around with twisting my head, and when I want to wear a wig, flatten it down, put a wig cap on, and throw a wig on. This is a t-shirt, by the way. This is a cotton t-shirt, 100% cotton. That I don't know, the natural least was said to do that, and it seemed like it was better than rubbing, you know, what is what is towel made out of? Polyester? I don't know what it's made out of, but I guess it's better than rubbing, you know, a towel all over your head. So I squeezed the towel, took the extra water off, and then do this cotton t-shirt on it, so it'll soak up the rest of the moisture, so it won't rip my hair out. And also, I want to show you guys, like, this right here is all, all the hair that I lost. And this, honestly, this, this is a record. Like, I remember one time I washed my hair and I lost so much hair that I ended up crying. Like, and that's when, actually, that was when I was using the Shea Moisture Shampoo. And I'm about to make a whole video about that because that, it broke my hair. It was disgusting. But yeah, anyways, this is the amount of hair I lost. And yeah, that's about it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm really sorry if the audio was bad. Audio sounded bad because I was recording in the bathroom. And the bathroom downstairs doesn't have a window. So it has like that ventilation. Yeah, you heard the noise in the background as my last video had that too. I apologize for that. And if you can't hear me, then comment down below, I guess you could say. And I'll make the audio better you know recording a better area but if i think that it sounds decent i'm gonna just upload the footage and again i apologize for that because the bathroom downstairs has better lighting than the bathroom upstairs <laughs> so i recorded in the bathroom downstairs and i realized oh you might not be able to hear me but yeah i hope it's not you know i hope it's not that bad and i hope you were able to understand what i was saying but i try to cut my talking to minimum because because of the ventilation but anyways for the 13th time you know how it is don't forget to like subscribe comment and i'll see you guys all in my next video which i as you can see i tend to upload videos in the beginning of every week whether it be sunday monday or tuesday it'll never be past wednesday if it is that's not the beginning of the week <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you all next time